Comedian Melanie Bracewell grew up on the North Shore, developing a passion for performing arts through her school years. This passion started playing the Wicked Witch of the West as a 10-year-old at Cody Park School, which to this day she says is probably a highlight. There was one thing that remained consistent. She knew she wanted to perform. She wasn't sure if it would be acting, singing or television presenting, but remembers the buzz of performance. In her time at Birkenhead College, Melanie amassed a bunch of awards for academics, performance and sport. She received the significant student scholarship from AUT and decided to pursue a Bachelor of Communications. Melanie majored in television and screen production and had multiple short films chosen for the Flavors Annual Short Film Festival. In 2014, Melanie tried stand-up for the very first time, entering the competition Seven Days Comedy Apprentice. Thankfully, a silly joke about checkout dividers was good enough and Melanie was selected to be one of six finalists taking part in a mini seven days at the Classic Comedy Bar. It was then up to the public to decide. Melanie won and then appeared on the TV show Seven Days. Yes, it's Melanie Bracewell! <laughs> Within a few months, Melanie also entered the Raw Comedy Quest alongside hundreds of more experienced comedians, and she won that too. That's when she knew that a career in stand-up was her dream. Since then, Melanie has been performing regularly on our screens and on stage. She's amassed quite a few achievements in comedy, radio and television. Winner of the 2014 Seven Days Comedy Apprentice, the 2015 Raw Comedy Quest Champion, the 2016 Best Twitter Comedy Guild Award and the 2017 New Zealand International Comedy Fest Best Newcomer Award, to name but a few. Her biggest and most recent achievement was being approached to write for a new television show launching next year, yet to be announced. After volunteering at Radio Hauraki for eight months, Melanie was offered a job as a producer for The Matt and Jerry Show and now has her own show on Saturdays and Sundays. Melanie would love to perform in Melbourne for the Comedy Festival and the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, both of which have incredibly high costs to participate and market. However, Melanie feels she's at a point where she wants to be able to push herself to become a better performer. Melanie Bracewell receives the North Harbour Club Ames Arts Award, sponsored by ASB and $15,000. Congratulations, Melanie Bracewell.